Hi friends, today we are going to discuss about AIDS that is falling under the chapter, chapter 8, Human Health and Diseases. AIDS, full form is Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome. So what is Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome? It is the deficiency of the immune system acquired during our lifetime. And when was it first reported? It was first reported in the year 1981. Now, who is causing this AIDS? It is caused by a virus. What is the name of the virus? The virus name is Human Immunodeficiency Virus. HIV virus, Human Immunodeficiency Virus. And it is falling under a group of virus called as retrovirus. So, AIDS is caused by HIV, which is falling under a group of virus called as retrovirus. And when you are seeing what is the genetic material in it, it is RNA. So you know there are two types of genetic material. One is DNA and another one is RNA. And this one when you are seeing, it is an RNA virus, ribonucleic acid. Okay, so uh, the genetic material of HIV is RNA. Now, how is this HIV transmitted from one person to another? Okay, that is the next topic what we are going to discuss. Number one is, you are having sexual contact with infected person. So someone is already suffering from AIDS and if you have contact with him sexually, in that case you are likely to suffer from the disease. Second is uh, transmission of contaminated blood. Means you are getting blood or you are getting wet from a person who is already infected with the virus. You are likely to get the disease. The second, uh, the third point is sharing infected needles. Okay. So, drug addicts and all when you are saying, they remain in a group and uh, they inject and they give the same to the other. So, one person is HIV infected and if it is he or she is sharing with the other, so uh, he is also likely to suffer from the disease. The next is your infected mother to child through placenta. So, mother is HIV positive and if she is carrying a baby through placenta, there is chances for it getting infected. Now, the same can be asked in another way. High risk individuals means individuals who are at high risk for developing HIV. Okay. So, the same thing only. A person who is having sexual contact with infected person is at high risk. Second, a person who is needing repeated blood transfusion like for dialysis and all you need repeated blood transfusion. In case repeated blood transfusion is needed. In that case also sometimes he is highly at risk of developing HIV. If it is not properly tested and is being used then he is likely to suffer from the disease. Next is your uh, drug addicts or who takes drugs intravenously. So in that case also you can find that they are at high risk. The last is uh, a HIV positive mother is at high risk that baby can develop the disease. So these are the four uh, individuals, category of individuals who are at high risk. Next what we are going to see is that how to test whether I am having HIV or not. So for that diagnosis has to be done, diagnostic test has to be done. The name of the test is ELISA. What is ELISA? ELISA from form is enzyme linked immunosorbent assay. Enzyme linked immunosorbent assay. So by this test enzyme linked immunosorbent assay a person can find out whether he or she is suffering from the disease. So this is the diagnostic test for the same important one more question. Now moving on to the treatment. You know that it's incubation period. Incubation period means the HIV is getting into our body. Thereafter the first symptoms which is coming out. It can take uh, like uh, for a few months. It can take from 5 to 10 years also. So that is the thing. So how to treat this HIV? That is the next step. You cannot get permanent cure for the same because no vaccines and all are developed. So, but you can control to some extent and increase your life. So, for that, what is to be done is that you have to take drugs. Okay. So, how the drugs are taken? Like medicines, antiretroviral drugs. So, to just to suppress the virus in our body, so that our lifespan is increased. We are taking what? Antiretroviral drugs. So, what it is doing is just suppressing the virus because of which. You are not, um, uh, means your lifespan will be increased. Okay. Now, next topic what we are going to discuss is prevention of this AIDS. Okay. Or prevention of this HIV virus, what is to be done? 
Number one, what they are doing is that there are two organizations, well, not two organizations. One is NACO, National AIDS Control Organization, and another one is NGOs. Uh, many other uh, non governmental organizations, when you are seeing, they are taking steps and educating people regarding how this AIDS is spreading from one person to and making them aware of the dangerous consequences of AIDS of um, educating them like that they are taking measures now World Health Organization has uh, introduced many numerous programs uh, where they are making um, means uh, HIV, HIV means uh, they are preventing the spread of disease okay so in that uh, some points has been jotted down one is making blood safe from HIV. That is the first point. Making blood safe from HIV. So the blood banks, they are testing and keeping the blood. And it is tested that whether they are having HIV or not. Thereafter only the blood is taken. Means from the donors that blood is taken and kept safe. Second is ensuring the use of only disposable syringe. So use and throw syringes. You cannot use a syringe. One syringe cannot be used again. So in that case, uh, sharing needles is avoided. HIV can be um, prevented. Okay. And the next point is free distribution of condoms. So the poor people who cannot afford to, for them and all, they are giving uh, freely. Those who are involving in multiple sex, for them and all, the condoms are provided freely. The next is controlling drug abuse. So people are made aware about the danger effects of drugs, and uh, government is taking care to control the drug abuse. The last point is promoting regular checkups. So those uh, guys who are involving in multiple sex, uh, for them there is a regular checkup camps available and uh, they are making sure that they are being tested uh, and uh, seeing that whether they are having HIV or not in regular basis. So these are the various ways by which HIV can be prevented. The next topic what we are going to discuss is replication of the retrovirus means this virus after getting into our body how the replication is taking place okay so under AIDS the next topic what we are going to discuss is replication of retrovirus which means HIV virus after it is getting into taking entry into a healthy person how it is spreading in this body okay so this is the HIV virus it is having an RNA genome. This one is a protein cover. Okay. So, the protein coat and you are having this RNA gene, the RNA genetic material. So, what is happening is that this HIV is taking entry into the human cell. So, the white blood cells it is going to take entry. We can represent it as macrophage or T lymphocytes. It is taking entry. After taking entry, what when they are taking entry, you see this protein coat is dissolved and the RNA genome is getting in. This RNA will be converted into DNA. For the conversion of this RNA into DNA, there is an enzyme involved and the name of the enzyme is reverse transcriptase. So RNA is getting converted into DNA. Now what happens the next step? The DNA is getting into the nucleus of this cell, this animal cell, white blood cell. The DNA is going to take entry into. They get incorporated into the human DNA. Thereafter, what will happen? This um, viral DNA will be dictating for the production of many copies of this virus. So, many copies of the virus will be produced as this uh, viral DNA dictates for the production of many viral copies. And these cells will burst, and you can find this virus are being released into the bloodstream. Now, these viruses, when you are seeing, is going to again infect other T lymphocytes. So again the same cycle will continue, the RNA will get into, the RNA will get converted into DNA by an enzyme called as reverse transcriptase. Then this DNA, viral DNA will be getting incorporated into the human DNA. Then they will dictate for the production of many viral copies. And again the virus will be released into the bloodstream and they will be affecting the other lymphocytes. Like that what will happen, this WBC lymphocytes curve will be coming less. So what happens when the lymphocyte count become decreases? You know what is the function of lymphocytes or WBCs? They are acting as soldiers, preventing the spread of diseases. Now, when these uh, lymphocytes is coming down, so they are prone to many diseases. 
whether it is common cold or typhoid or chicken pox, whichever germs take entry, there is no resistance power to resist the same. So the person will be suffering from the disease. Gradually, this lifespan will be reduced. At last, you can find it may lead to death. So that is how the um, virus immune system, when you are getting HIV infected, the immune system is becoming weak and your lifespan is reduced. So this topic is replication of retrovirus. Hope this diagram is very very important. Many questions come from this diagram based questions. So uh, hope so it is very clear. Thank you.